Hey friends, it's the last week of February. Up here in Michigan, we've had a warm stretch for about 10 days now that's got about 90% of our ice melted. So with spring right around the corner, just about everybody I know itching to get their boats out, I thought we'd spend a few minutes to today and talk about spring boat maintenance. I'm going to run through a list in this video of things that I do to prep my boat for uh, spring maintenance, my boat and my trailer. And hey, the one thing I did forget to mention in the video, um, which is probably the most important when you're prepping your boat for spring maintenance, now's the time to check your fire extinguisher and make sure that you have all the safety items you need on your boat, uh, a horn or a whistle. Uh, your life jackets, your fire extinguisher, and whatever other items uh, is required by the state or province that you live in. Um, I know just across the river from me in, in Canada, and I'm in Canadian water a lot, the Canadian regulations on boating safety is a little bit different. So there's a couple extra items we have to have in our boat when we cross over into Canada. But make sure you know what the regulations are in the water that you're fishing and make sure that you have the uh, required safety items on your boat. Make sure that fire extinguisher is good. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you get, uh, hopefully there's a few tips that you can use. And uh, hey, leave a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what your spring boat preparation looks like. Hey, good luck in tight lines this year, friends. One of the first steps I like to take when I'm doing my spring boat and trailer maintenance is I like to check my hubs and my bearings and make sure that my bearings are greased. So go ahead and fill up your, fill up your bearings with grease. Jack up. After you've filled up your bearings with grease, you want to jack up the trailer and wiggle the wiggle the trailer tire top to bottom and side to side and see if you have any any play or any movement if you have play either side to side or top to bottom you've probably got a bearing starting to go bad the other thing you can do is spin the tire while you have it up in the air spin the tire and listen for sound but just make sure the, bearing, the, the tire should spin without making a bunch of noise. If it sounds like there's bearings uh, rubbing against metal in there, then it's probably time to change the bearings. One of the most surefire ways to ruin a good fishing trip is to have a bearing failure on the side of the road. When checking your bearings, you want to see if there is any play in the in the you want to see if there's any play in your wheel, either top to bottom or side to side. You can also spin your tire and listen. Listen to hear if the bearing's making any noise. And while you're back here at the trailer tires, it's also the perfect time to inspect your trailer tires for signs of wear or signs of damage. These tires are just starting to show a little bit of uh, a little bit of decomposition. We got this one area right here that has a little bit of cracking. A new set of tires needs to go on my. Uh, a new set of tires needs to go on my wish list for this summer. Hey friends. Hey, leave a comment in the comment box below. 
Let me know your thoughts on spring bolt maintenance. Do you do spring bolt maintenance? Do you check things other than what I checked or differently than the way I checked them? Uh, just let me know your thoughts so we can share thoughts with one another on best practices for spring bolt maintenance. Friends, many of you have already heard that this past week we lost one of the greatest men ever to be born in this country. The Reverend Billy Graham passed away last week. A few days before he died, he said and was quoted, Someday you will read or hear that Billy Graham is dead. Don't believe a word of it. I shall be more alive than I am now. I will have just changed my address. I will have gone into the presence of God. Friends, there is only one way to have that kind of confidence in your eternal destiny. That is through salvation through Jesus Christ. If you're interested in knowing more about salvation in Christ, at the very end of this video, I will explain what Billy Graham meant by that. I'm not trying to trick anyone into a gospel message. Um, however, I think it's very, I think it's the most important thing that you will do with your life. So at the very end of this message, at the very end of this short video, I will explain what Pastor Billy Graham meant by that statement. You can use a wire brush or sandpaper to take off any of the corrosion that may have formed on your positive cables. You definitely want to keep these cables clean. Pulling your batteries out over the winter and storing them in a safe dry space at room temperature will extend the life of your batteries. Electric trim works, that means we did something right. Another thing I will do at this time while I've got my grease gun out is I'll go ahead and find any of the zerk fittings on my motor. There's usually a zerk fitting on your motor right here uh, where, the, where the steering bar is. And sometimes you'll find a zerk fitting somewhere in the hydraulics. But you definitely want to uh, throw a shot of grease in those zerk fittings. I also recommend at this time to check the torque on your the four bolts that hold your motor to the transom. You should be able to find the um, recommended manufacturer's torque setting for those. If you cannot, you can always call your dealer and find out what these should be torqued down to. But it's important this is a good time to torque these down it's something that you often don't think to do during the season the next thing I recommend for spring boat maintenance is take a Phillips head screwdriver and go all throughout the interior of your boat door latches uh, interior panels seats check all those Phillips head screws and make sure they're tight um, our boats take a lot of beating around in the waves and uh, during boat traffic and our these screws have a, have a tendency to work themselves out I live I fish the Great Lakes all the time so 
Uh, for me, it's something I have to do several times a year. But uh, definitely something I always do in the springtime. Just go through and make sure all those Phillips head screws are good and tight. Over the winter, when I store my batteries, I take a small electrical zip tie and I, I attach all of my hot leads together and all of my neutral leads together. That just makes it easier in the spring. Everything stays a little bit more organized. It's a little bit quicker to put your batteries back in. And then in the springtime, I just cut them off and discard them. Once I've checked all of my, once I've gone through my trailer, checked my bearings and greased everything, once I've gone through the motor, hit, greased any zerk fittings, checked the torque on the bolts, I look over the motor for uh, the electrical lines to the motor and the fuel lines, make sure nothing's, make sure there's no cracks or uh, crumbling fuel lines. Once I've done all that, then I start taking a look at the electrical systems on the boat. So I've installed my batteries, now I'll go through and I'll test all of the electrical systems and just make sure all of the electrical systems are working properly. And then last but not least, I'll check my trailer electrical, make sure my lights are working, make sure there's uh, all the ground straps are tightened real good and make sure the uh, electrical lines for the trailer lights are in good shape. Well that's pretty much it. We've checked the trailer, tires and bearings, 
we've lubed the bearings we've checked trailer electrical we've checked the we've checked uh, engine bolts for uh, torque we've checked the boat the boats electrical systems the thing left to do now is give it a good cleaning uh, you've probably noticed it's full of all sorts of tackle and uh, ice fishing stuff and just junk that's what happens over the winter time it sits in the garage and becomes a catch-all so other than a good cleaning and, and a little bit of organizing the boat's ready to go hey as usual thanks for watching team jesus outdoors i hope these tips were helpful uh, i hope that you'll click on the subscribe button um, drop a comment in the comment box below and let me know uh, do you check these same things when you do your spring maintenance is there anything that I forgot or is there anything that you do differently or any tips that may help any tips that may help other subscribers as they do their spring maintenance so please leave a comment in the comment box below uh, with your thoughts on spring boat maintenance Friends, the Bible teaches that in order to have eternal life, you must be born again. To be born again means to repent of your sins and trust Christ as your Savior. You're all familiar with the story of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The book of Romans teaches us that all men are born sinners. We are not capable of living a life that is pleasing to God. Friends, the only way our sins can be forgiven is through the redemptive work that was done at the cross. You see, when we trust Jesus Christ for our salvation, the blood of Christ that was shed on the cross completely covers our sin. God does not even recognize our sin any longer. If you want to know the same type of peace that Billy Graham knew in his dying days, you simply need to pray and ask God to forgive you of your sin and you need to trust Jesus Christ as your salvation. Once you've done that, you'll want to find a good church where you'll be taught the Word of God and you can take your next steps towards knowing the Lord Jesus Christ as your, as your personal Savior. True peace and joy in life is only found when we are following the will of God. If we seek God's will for our life, and learn to listen to his leading and trust his word we, the Bible says that we will know a peace that passes all understanding and on top of that we will spend eternity with the Lord in the heaven that he has created friends I pray that you'll take this advice I pray that you'll uh, ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sin and um, ask him to lead your life if you do that go out and find a good church where you can take your next steps with him hey thanks for watching God bless have a great week hey friends if you've got questions about any of this that I talked about today particularly if you've got uh, spiritual questions um, don't hesitate to contact me. You can reach me on Facebook at Team Jesus Outdoors. Um, you can email me at BigJC at TeamJesusOutdoors.com. Um, I'd be more than happy to respond to any of your questions. I don't care fishing questions, 
uh, whatever. But particularly if you've got questions, spiritual questions, or anything that, that I talked about today, um, don't hesitate to contact me. Big JC at TeamJesusOutdoors.com or you can find me on Facebook at Team Jesus Outdoors. You can also go to TeamJesusOutdoors.com. Uh, there's a link at the bottom to email also. So, hey, thanks again for watching. Um,